I'm Valerie Sloan. And I'm Michaela Hooper. And we are here from the Students Rebuild team in Seattle, Washington. And we are so excited this month to be launching our new Ocean Challenge. And once a month over the course of the Ocean Challenge until June 8th, World Ocean Day, uh, we'll be bringing these Facebook Live posts where we help inspire and instruct you on how to make some of the great ocean sea creatures that you can be submitting this year for the Art Challenge. Um, as you may have read, for every sea creature you make and submit to Students Rebuild, the Bezos Family Foundation will be matching that with $2 in funding that goes to the Ocean Collective and the Nature Conservancy for their ocean conservation programs for coastal youth. And so online you'll be able to find our handy Ocean Challenge art guide that is also full of lots of ideas and inspiration to get you started. And on page 8, we will be taking you through the steps today to make a paper sea anemone, which I think is one of the easiest sea creatures to get started with for this project. Turn over to Michaela. Hi everybody, I'm excited to make art with you today. And like Val said, we're gonna be making sea anemones. We have a couple examples here. Um, so the first resource you're going to need is a couple pieces of paper. This is an awesome opportunity to use recyclable paper. Like you can see we're using newspaper. Gift paper is another good example of something that you could use to make your anemone. Um, and you can use some, you can pick your color, you can pick the material. And anyway, the first step is you're gonna get it, get your papers all lined up, and you're gonna decide how tall you want your sea anemone to be. We're gonna be rolling the paper like this. So if you just leave your paper this size, it'll be this tall. I like think I'm gonna do one a little bit shorter. So I'm going to cut my paper in half. I'm just gonna keep mine the size that it is. And then you're going to, like I said, roll your paper into a tube and you can use glue or, um, or um, tape is what we'll be using to keep our papers together. So you can grab a piece of tape and you're gonna push it right along the seam between where the two pieces of paper are meeting. grab your scissors and if you want before you do this step you can use a pen to mark how long you want your sea anemone's tentacles to be like you can see valves on this one are a little longer than than mine um, but I'm just gonna go go for it and kind of just guess so you're gonna just make strips going down all the way around They're super weird to touch too. They're really squishy. They're so sensitive. Yeah, and when they like, well, they retract their tentacles. So now that you have your strips all the way down, you can kind of pull them down like this so that they stick out all fun and funky like that. You might notice like mine that you need to do a little extra cutting. And that's okay. Not so There's lots of room for creativity and, and uniqueness in this project. And voila, two sea anemones. So I hope you guys enjoy making these little art projects and send them our way so that we can all help work together to save our oceans. Be sure to tune in next month for our next Facebook Live video and follow us on social media and check out our website. Thanks. Thanks so much. Bye.